This portion of today's video is sponsored by Yeasol. So in case you're new, I'm currently seven weeks postpartum with baby number five. I have a newborn. I also have a one-year-old and then some older children. So getting to the gym is practically impossible these days, but I'm trying to get back into a more rigorous exercise as well as making some smarter eating choices, healthier eating choices. And this bike has definitely helped with me being able to exercise and exercise from home. This bike is an investment, but the quality for the price is amazing. I had looked at some more, uh, even more expensive bikes, for example, the Peloton. So if you're looking into those, maybe the Yeesol is something you would like to check out as well. This was pretty easy for us to put together, even with a little one-year-old walking around and wanting to help. The instructions were easy to follow. It didn't take us long at all to get this put together. It does come in two boxes, so just a heads up on that. There'll be a box with the bike and then a box with the screen, which you'll see here in just a minute. This bike has everything you need. I'm installing a water bottle holder right now. You can raise and lower the handlebars. You can raise and lower the seat. You can slide the seat front and back. It has dumbbells for some of the exercises. You're also going to see that the screen that we attach can rotate so that you can also do yoga classes with this. Setup was very easy. You just scan the QR code and then download the app on your phone. When you scan the QR code, it's going to pull up the app. You download it and then from there it's just pretty much self-explanatory. You can set it up. You can control the screen from this app. It's like your remote. This is Justin's. It keeps up with all of his information, but I also have accounts for myself. Y'all, I have really enjoyed this. You can do scenic rides. You can do uh, classes. I've connected my iPad to this so that we could cast Netflix and YouTube while I'm riding. This has made exercise and exercising at home convenient and because of that I can be more successful. I'm going to have a link down in the description box for you to check out. If you're like me and you're looking for an option for exercise at home, I definitely think that you need to check out this Ye Soul bike. I am enjoying it. Thank you again to Ye Soul for sponsoring this portion of today's video. La 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 You took your socks off. I gotta put your socks and your shoes on now. Hey, hey, y'all. Good morning. Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. It's morning for us right now. And I'm at my postpartum checkup appointment. Bless you. Can you believe it has been seven weeks since Fletcher was born? He is seven weeks old, almost two months old. Like when I say that, it just doesn't seem right. I was going to come to an appointment last week and I had to cancel it. Bless you. We sneezing this morning. I was going to come to an appointment last week and I had to cancel it. Justin was going to keep the kids for me today, but then he ended up having an appointment at the same time that I rescheduled this for. So we've divided and conquered today. The two older boys are with him at his appointment. The two little boys and Audrey are with me at mine so she can help her mama out. Let's go in and get this thing done. Here's to hoping this appointment goes quick and we don't have to sit in here for a long time. <laughs> Sissy found your shoe. We lost it getting out of the car. Well, we get it. Finished out. Doctor's appointments are done. We met up with Justin and the other boys and ate together. It was good. I think we're going to head on home. I made some grape jelly yesterday. I may make some more today. My mom said she had another pack of Sure Gel. 
And so I may take her some of the grape jelly that I made and get that to make another batch. We'll see, we'll see. The weather is really nice right now, but I think it's supposed to get bad here after a while. I hope it doesn't get too bad. Thank you for helping. gotten pretty muddy in the coop from all the rain that we've had just getting up some of this pine straw putting it in there to hopefully avoid it getting even muddier if it storms again today I have gotten several questions about our crock pot chicken stuffing so I'm going to share that recipe with you you can use however much chicken you want I've used more than this before but I found that this is about the amount we prefer it's equivalent to probably about three chicken breasts. And then what Audrey is sprinkling on the top there is a packet of store-bought chicken stuffing mix. This is so easy, y'all. And now she's gonna spoon on a mixture that is one can of cream of chicken, one cup of sour cream, and about half a cup of milk, all mixed together, and then that will go on the top. You just spoon that on and then smooth it out we're going to put the lid on and we're going to cook this on low for about five to six hours. You could also cook it on high for two to three hours. You just want to make sure your chicken gets cooked through. Now I'm writing on the lids of the jelly that I canned the day before. I'm just writing what it is and the year and then this will go into the pantry. I am going to go ahead and make another batch of grape jelly. I'm not going to show the whole process because I did do a dedicated video to that. I'll make sure to link it for you and I highly recommend that you try out this recipe because it is delicious. It is three ingredients. It is so simple and it turns out well so like i said i'm not going to show the whole process in this video because there's a dedicated video but make sure you go check it out here's you a little clip of the jelly coming out of the canner it is so beautiful i just got done canning a few more jars of grape jelly the boys helped me out i think i'm going to take a minute now and wash some of these eggs I don't know if I'll show it. I don't know how interesting <laughs> washing eggs is, but a lot of times we'll get eggs that are pretty clean. I mean, they'll have a little bit of something here and there on them. That's what a farm fresh egg <laughs> looks like when it comes out of the coop. And I don't mind that at all, but it's been really rainy and muddy. And so these right here are pretty dirty, pretty muddy. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these and put them in the refrigerator. I wanted to show you the eggs and mention washing them though because I get a lot of questions about that. Is it okay for your eggs to sit at room temperature? Why are your eggs sitting on the counter? Is that safe? So an egg, a farm fresh egg coming straight out of your coop, it can sit on the counter for about two to three weeks. When an egg is laid, there's a natural layer on the outside of it, bloom. And that keeps bacteria from being able to enter the egg. So as long as you don't wash the egg, it can sit on the counter for a couple of weeks. Once you wash it though, it needs to go in the refrigerator because you've washed that protective layer off and now it's more susceptible to bacteria. 
So once you wash it, it goes in the refrigerator, but it can stay in the refrigerator for two to three months. We do check our eggs. If it's an egg that we know, you know, we've been, it's been sitting here for a while, we will take it and you can put it in some water. And if it stays on the bottom, it's good. If it floats, it's not. Uh, as an egg ages, it will start, you know, one end of it will start to float. You'll know it's not quite as fresh as it once was. And then once it starts coming up off the bottom, that's when you know that that egg needs to go. So that's a little egg information for you today. Aren't they lovely? Dinner is looking delicious. This will go for another couple of hours. And then we'll just shred the chicken up, mix everything together. And it'll be ready. I think I may make some biscuits to go with it. Some homemade biscuits. And probably steam some broccoli. This is one of those meals that I really enjoy. And, you know, like I've, I've mentioned here and there, I am trying to be a little bit more aware of what I eat and maybe lose a little weight along the way. But meals like this, I'm still absolutely fine with that. I just need to control the amount that I eat, control my portions, that's what I'm gonna do, and still enjoy the foods that I love. Got all my stuff washed up for making jelly. Now I'm gonna get started on some biscuits. I saw this recipe, um, where did I see it? Appalachia's Homestead, Patera. I think that's who I saw make it. I'll link it down in the description box. But I got my sifter out. I don't always sift my flour. Sometimes I'll just take a fork and fluff it, but I got my sifter out. All, all the things I need. It's a real simple recipe, but it has cream cheese in it, and I've never made biscuits with cream cheese. So we're going to see how this turns out. I'll, I'll have to let you know. I was like, biscuits with cream cheese? But we're going to try it. And she said they're like a mixture between a biscuit and a Sister Schubert's dinner roll. So they got to be good, right? These were very good. Don't forget to check out Patera's recipe. Word and you know they don't know what it means. Uh, that's a, uh, your turn, huh? To pick up. <laughs> <laughs>